Afzal Ashraf uh, joins me. He's an international security specialist at uh, the university in the United Kingdom. He joins us from London. Afzal, good to have you, good to see you. Uh, tell me, what do you think is Israel's strategy when it comes to the southern part of the besieged enclave of Gaza? That's a very difficult question to answer because I don't believe Israel has a strategy. It certainly doesn't have a precedence for uh, uh, success in a conflict like this. And it's the assessment of uh, many uh, commentators, not just mine, uh, Daniel Levy, for what example, who've said that they can't see a strategy here. I certainly can't see one, unless, of course, the strategy is to maximize uh, the um, killing and suffering of the people of Gaza in order to drive them out of Gaza, to reduce their presence to something that is even more negligible than it has been in the past. And, and there's certainly a lot of evidence of that. Um, and I believe that um, in most recent uh, uh, statements, uh, the Israeli government has said uh, to the residents of the southern strip of Gaza to um, relocate near the uh, Egyptian border. And again, I think uh, it's a, an attempt to put pressure on the Egyptian government to take them as refugees so that um, they uh, will not necessarily ever return again. Uh, but uh, what the tactics are, which I think is perhaps a more um, accurate question, is really to maximize uh, the, the destruction uh, of uh, what is left in the south, because, of course, they've done that in the north. Um, so now we have reports on the ground of um, aerial bombardment, uh, tank shelling, presumably artillery shelling as well. Uh, there are reports from both the Israelis and uh, the uh, Hamas fighters of intense fighting. Now, we can't take the detail reports as being um, representative, but because both of those sides want us to have a particular um, impression of what's going on. But I believe that we can reasonably deduce that there is uh, a quite a lot of intense fighting, perhaps um, uh, judging by these reports, much more intense uh, direct fighting between Hamas and uh, the Israeli forces than there was in the north. So that's probably the most distinctive difference that we can see, uh, which will probably mean that, uh, of course, Hamas fighters will probably suffer um, very higher rates of casualties, but uh, I would guess that the Israelis are too are suffering uh, very high rates of casualties, and it would be interesting to see whether those casualties numbers become a significant uh, decision-making issue in the days ahead. And you're talking about casualties uh, just on the right-hand side of our screens. Uh, when you were talking, uh, also we could see the casualties being brought to hospital, the ones who have been injured by Israeli airstrikes. And certainly it is heartbreaking to see uh, the plight of, of uh, uh, these uh, people. Now, Afzal, talking about uh, Israel's uh, operation. Now, since uh, the resumption of uh, fighting, uh, since the last truce between, or pause rather, between Hamas and Israel ended, Israel mm -hmm. has been calling it the second phase of its uh, war. And it seems to me that uh, Israel's main target in its so-called second phase of the operation is the southern part of the Gaza Strip, as opposed to its operation before the pause, uh, uh, where it was mainly targeting the northern part of the Gaza Strip. My question is, how do you think Israel's operation in the south is different from that in the north. Uh, before I answer that, I just wanted to make sure that uh, you understood I was uh, speaking, when I was speaking about casualties, I was speaking about casualties in the IDF and Hamas fighters. The casualties that you are showing on the screen, uh, you know, words of now being exhausted about how horrific, how unjust, how um, absolutely painful it is to see this uh, continual, um, uh, uh, suffering of the most innocent people, children mainly, uh, and women. Um, but yes, in answer to your question, how is it different? Um, to be honest, it's very difficult to uh, understand uh, and uh, because we don't have a very clear picture apart from that which is being provided to us by the IDF and indeed by Hamas to some degree, uh, how it is different. Um, the only thing that I can tell from generalizing is that it is much more intense uh, than the North. And, and I believe for that, uh, the reasons are twofold. One, of course, is that um, the South is now much more densely packed than the North was because a lot of the Northern population has come into the South. The other thing is that 
I believe behind the scenes, uh, the messages that um, Secretary of State Blinken and others have put out to uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is that you have to finish this a lot sooner than I think Pres uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu wanted. He was talking about, in terms of about a year, um, to finish this right. operation. Mr. Afzal Ashraf, it's always a pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time. Thank you.